All right. Well, apparently I hit the audio button or I'm in slow mode for some reason. I have no idea why, but uh, it seems that's where I'm at. And I don't know if the slow mode cuts the audio off or did I hit the audio button by mistake. I don't think this is that particular camera, so I don't think I hit the audio button. The one that's in the truck because I changed them. However, what I'm doing is I am going to rig 12 volts up next to the table saw. Man, I'm kind of telling you <coughs> what I have and what I'm doing and why I'm doing it and why I'm not doing other things. So, right now I'm just telling you that I have to USB 5 volts up there at 2.4 amp each so I don't need any more USBs and over here I have uh, 12 volt which is actually off the batteries and solar which brings me up to around 13.8 volts and I have uh, a number of sets of uh, connections there so I'm going to tie off the ones over to the left the two big ones there, the top and lower, and I'm going to run a wire from there all the way up and across the roof or the ceiling, <coughs> and down the other side, and hook up a connection on the other side. That's tied into the uh, 5 volt USBs. Those are the ones I'm going to use for the 12 volt. And next to it, there's a lighter plug, and there's banana plugs and stuff like that. There's all types of different plugs. But I'm going to use those two big studs, and I'm going to come up with those. So now i got to go find some wire that I can use and uh, see what happens here. I don't want to use a wire and a waste, something that I can use somewhere else. This isn't something I need. I good wire for because it's going to be inside but I want to make sure it's heavy enough to carry a little bit of amperage at least 10 amps or so so that's where we're at so now uh, I don't know what's going on because we're running in slow motion I have no idea why and how I guess I can step this forward a little bit and put it onto uh, high speed. But for now, we'll just sit here in slow motion. And uh, you know what? I'm going to stop it there or try to stop it here. Well, I'm not going to be able to because I got it recording. So let's stop it here. Seeing that I'm pointing to the same thing, and I'm telling you I'm going to bring the wire up, up, and across the ceiling, ceiling, and I'll tie up those other two wires while I'm up there. I'm going to put a couple of hooks up there so I can get it up nice and tight, yeah, up there. <coughs> So I gotta get the ladder over here so I can do what I gotta do there. And uh okay, I'm not gonna show you any more here. Seeing that I'm in slow motion. I have no idea. Oh, I'm still recording so I can't make any changes here until I'm done recording audio. So, okay, why are we going out here now? Well, apparently I'm going to be looking for wire. And I am moving a lot faster than what this camera is moving, so therefore it is in slow motion. Right, I'm going to stop here for a minute. Okay, so now I'm putting in fast speed for about 30 or 40 seconds. 
I'm just telling you some of the wire that I have, some is what I'm going to use, but I gotta make sure that I mark it properly so I know I'm using the been connecting both ends up the same. I'm using that wire, which is a speaker wire, but I want to make sure that each side is the right side. I will test it with a meter to make sure, but again, I want to do a visual as well. And then I'm going to get another piece of wire, and I'm going to tell you that this wire is actually made for boats, and uh, it's got a casing on it, which is nice. However, it's just a little too good for what I need it for and this one's a real thin wire so that's basically where we're at and I'm going back to the other wire all right so now I've got the ladder there and we're gonna take the wire and we're gonna get my big ass up on the ladder and we're doing this in slow motion as you can see and uh, we're going to think about how we're going to screw the eye hook into the ceiling. I'm looking to see if I can hit a stud, but if I can't, I do have a couple of those, uh, whatever you call them. You drill a hole, you put the rubber piece or the plastic piece in, and you screw a screw in, and it opens up type of thing. I forgot what they call the damn things. But meanwhile, I was lucky and found a stud. So I'm going to just uh, screw the stud in there. Um, I'm going to see if I can speed up this just a little bit here. Hold on a minute. All right, I brought it up to 1500. I may be a little closer to normal. <coughs> and uh, we're getting the hook screwed in. I have two more to screw in, and now that I've got the speed up a little bit, uh, we're going to see where I'm going here. I want to make sure that the camera is on me so that you can see every part of me perfectly. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to speed this up a little more, I think, up to 1900. So, that's got to be a little bit better. I don't know how slow it actually brought it, so I don't know exactly um, the speed that I would have to bring it up to make it normal. I'm thinking I can probably make it faster because I'm talking slow enough for it. And I can explain it. Well, I don't know. I'm moving pretty quick there now. All right. Oh, too much coffee? No, not too much. Okay, so we're going to bring that in through there. Pull it through. And it's going to get caught on the saw. That, there it is. Okay. And get it over the back of the shelf for now. Give myself a little room so I can put another hook up over there later. I'm going to wrap it around one of those wires. Well, I need another hook. I'm gonna go get a hook. Come on, come on. Hook, 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 hook. Hmm. Apparently I'm having a problem finding the hook. Ah, a little hook. Too small. Okay, now I got the right one. So now I'll do a little starter hole. Yeah, am I there? Where's the stud? There we go. Oh. Well, maybe. Who knows? Let's try this again. Let's wrap it around the wire. Uh, okay, where I want to put it. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Oh yeah, I want to bring it down behind the other wire, and I want to make sure when I get ready to do this, I'm gonna put the hook there. No, no, I want it back over the other place. I don't want it there. Yeah, that's where I want it. Okay, now let's get the screw in there. Oh, drill came loose. Drill. Okay, let's put the hook in. And we'll screw around with the wire a little bit. Now 
Now a part that you didn't see is when I was screwing or connecting, soldering the ends to the wire on the side that's near the window. I uh, soldered on a couple of uh, terminal ends to slide over the bolts, the studs on the hot and ground side. So, get that out of the way. Okay, now what? Okay, let's move you around. I guess I'm going to show you what I did. I have no idea. Oh, that guy. No, yeah, he wanted me to do some teaching with him, so, uh, yeah. He uh, was a student of mine, and he also runs a, um, oh, shit, uh, let's back it up again, hold on a minute, I can't back it up once I shut it off. He wanted me to teach with, he wanted me to teach with him, um, because he had a, uh, kickboxing, uh, he had a boxing ring, kickboxing, um, uh, karate, kung fu, jiu-jitsu, a bunch of different things. And he was looking for somebody to go in with him as a partner and instructor. And I says, nah, I was just getting a little too tired and too old for that. I mean, I was like 60 years old at the time or so, and I wasn't really looking to get into something where I had to do a lot of, a lot of work, and especially getting in a ring with somebody and dealing with students. Just one of those things where I didn't feel like doing it. So, but anyway, uh, I'm back to the wiring, and I'm going to add another piece of the film right about now. So anyway, I'm in the middle of doing what I'm trying to get done and I get a phone call from the United States Fugitive Recovery Agency wanting me to work and to see if I was going to still do some training for them. And I told him, yeah, I'll, I'll do some training. It's got to be during the week, and I need a three-day notice. Um, but, again, I don't know. I'm not ready to go out and start hunting. I'm done with that, but I'll train for him. And that's about all that was, just me calling him back because I missed the call. I didn't get to it in time. And... Uh, Okay, now I'm waiting for him to answer. I'll talk to him for a second. Go through what I'm willing to do and not willing to do. And uh, take it from there. So, they just won't leave me alone. Just keep bugging me. Uh, uh, United States Future to Recovery Agency. So, United States Fugitive Recovery Agency. So anyway, I'm ready to start drilling holes on this side. I got the wire run over. It's down behind the bandsaw right in there on that piece. I'm going to drill two holes right there. And uh, we're going to throw a couple of nuts and bolts. And uh, I'll make the bolts long enough so I can tie the wires to the back. And then uh, have enough on the front where I can connect a set of jumpers to it. So if I need power, I can just plug in. Now at this point, I'm not thinking about how I'm going to hook them up. But... Later on, I decide to use a quick disconnect power cord, and then uh, I went over and I I made a set of jumpers real quick. I don't remember if I recorded that or not, but if I do, I'll kind of speed through it as I'm going to shut down and do that here. Hold on. All right. So I brought it up to one nine, and. Uh, or 1900 so the speed should be kind of close to normal again I don't know when you hit slow how slow it actually makes it so we gotta kind of do what we gotta deal with here 
I'm watching a movie right now as I'm talking to you called Downsizing. It's where they shrink people to live in a little community, in a little artificial town. But what I don't understand is somehow they end up traveling to another country. And uh, I don't know how that all worked out. So I guess that's just a storyline that they forgot to tell. <clears throat> anyway, uh, let me go out there. Why am I going out there? I don't remember. Do I need nuts and bolts? Maybe. Maybe. No. I would think I'd see myself there if I did. So what am I doing? Am I going to uh, take this part out? No, nope, here I come. Coming back. Oh, I got strippers. Okay, so we're going to put a couple of eyelids on here, strip them back, and attach them. And apparently I'm talking, but to myself. Come on, come on. Strip. Twist. Put the end on it. Crimp. And then naturally, I don't know how to explain to you how I cram. But uh, we'll get into that another day. Strip the other wire. Cramp that wire. Boy, that t shirt really looks good, doesn't it? And yeah, definitely no beauty contest there. Look like shit in that shirt. Look like shit anyway with that stomach hanging over my belt. Belly go first. Uh, which one do I want hot? That's what I'm deciding here. I want the one closest to the stud hot so I don't have to worry about accidentally hitting the, the other one. So we're going to make the one closest to the stud hot. And the one to my right is going to be the negative. And I just put this on wrong so I got to take it off and turn it around. Is uh, what I do that for. And now what if... Oh, I gotta get a ratchet. To the toolbox. By the way, tomorrow I'm going to Tractor Supply. Wife wants to get out of the house, so I'm gonna take her with me. Oh, I wanna check the continuity to make sure I have the right one. Remember I was talking about earlier uh, on the wire because it isn't red and black. I wanted to make sure that I had the right continuity. Yeah. I don't remember if I show you here or not the differences between the two. I may or may not. Yeah, I guess I'm going to. And you're probably not going to see it anyway. Oh yeah, I looked in the camera. I see it. Why don't you see it? Okay. Well, maybe if I brought it in a little higher. Get out of there. Get caught. Go ahead. Fine. So, but if I hook it up right, you're going to see the voltage there. And it looks like 12.76, I'm thinking. I can't really see it. If I hook it up backwards, there'll be a minus mark in front of the 12. And that'll tell me what I have. And I, that's what I was telling you at that point. So now I know which is which. I back you back up again. And I will now start putting these on there. And I'm going to have to get a ratchet in a minute. And then after that, we're just about done. So it went relatively quick, except for I have to make the jumper uh, leads, the test leads, the power leads. Uh, Alright, so, come on, what am I looking over there for? I don't remember. I know, I know. The voltage was just a little low. I'm seeing 13 volts on the other side, 13.7, 13.8. 
and I was only seeing 12.76 on this side. Well, the other side wasn't really connected. They were just lying on the studs. They weren't bolted to the stud. And then I'm going to lose a little bit in the line anyway because I didn't use a real heavy line. I just used enough to carry 10, maybe 10 amps or so. And like I tell you guys, you know, the, the, the thickness versus the length. The longer the wire, the heavier it should be. Alright, did I get... Uh, I did? I don't know. Did I get the right shit? Yeah, I did. Okay. Tighten it up, tighten it up, tighten it up. By the way, I'm using the uh, Sam Sun mic, and it's about two and a half feet away from me, and I'm talking really slow at this point, or low, rather. Because the wife is sleeping in the other room and I'm sitting in the living room with the TV on and on the computer at the same time. So I'm not talking loud by no means. It's really not a bad little microphone. I have another one that I have in my uh, truck that I have in the, uh, the bag that I use when I'm doing uh, meetings and training with the uh, videos in the fire departments and stuff like that all right so i think we're uh, getting close here so why did i do that oh i gotta go over there and tighten those up all right let's get that done and we're getting ready to put another piece of the video down on the timeline so uh, we're going to do that about now Alright, so for now I'm going to take a quick break and I'm going to show you how the sander works that I made with the 10 inch disc. And uh, this is something I just put together using a motor and I took a pulley and cut out a round 10 inch piece of plywood. Uh, adapted the pulley to fit the motor and then adapted the plywood to fit the pulley. And I bought the sandpaper, and uh, away it goes. And it cuts nice and deep and fast if I wanted to, or slow. So, so I figured I'd just take a second and show you how that was, just in case I didn't show it to you before. That shroud that I put over it, that's welded on there, so I don't have to worry about that. And that's about it for that. Alright, so I jumped over here to the other side, and I now need to find a set of uh, alligator alligator clips or a crocodile. I prefer alligators, and the set that I found uh, are going to work. I just got to do a little modification to them, if it can be done. If not, I'm going to uh, have to uh, do a little soldering and a little heat shrink. Now i got to find a way of connecting them so I can take them on and off because I don't want them to be there all the time. So I'm over here looking for some quick disconnect wire. And uh, where the hell are they? There they are. Now I don't want to, again, waste a large chunk of this because I only need a little bit for in here, but yet I want to make sure it's right. So that's a good size. But it's uh, it's a complete set, and I know I got some scraps in here that'll work. So that's what I'm doing. What these are are quick disconnect power. They come as one wire with two ends on it. But what you do is you put the ends together, then you cut the length that you need. And you could just cut it in half, so to speak. Now I'm kind of showing you the ends a little bit, but that's not it. That wire's too thin. And it's too short anyway. And uh, we're going to find it shortly. I'm going to speed this up in a minute, so hold on a minute. There it is. Now that's what I'm looking for. But I need one with a little bit different... Ah, there it is. That's the one. I didn't need one with such long wire on it. I'm going to save that for time for my need long wire. If 
I cut the one with the long wire, then I need long wire. I haven't got one. So, all right, so we got that done. So I'm gonna stop it here for a minute. Okay, I jumped it up to 19, so we can kind of get through this a little bit. I don't want to waste a lot of time. Already I'm up into what, maybe 30 minutes or so. So, uh, now we're gonna run back, got my wire. And now we're gonna go over here and lengthen it, the length that I need, put the ends on it. And this is going to take a few minutes, so I may jump it up a little quicker. Uh, let me, I'm looking for wire again. But I decided just to use some 10 gauge that I had overhead on the rolls. And uh, I'm trying to figure out if you guys are going to see what I'm doing there or not. You know what I mean? How it just comes apart. Now I'm explaining to you how that works and how I want the red wire to be on the sealed side instead of the open side so I don't have to worry about the wind wire shorting out the wind wire All right. okay. and on that one that's the ground side if I were to use it that's the power side so that's the wrong one for that side because it can short out so I want to use the other one the other half that one on the uh, side that's going to be connected to power all the time because the power side is shielded so now I got to cut those ends off and put ends on there going to fit and uh, I'm going to speed this up a little bit because what I'm going to do is put the ends on that that's going to fit then I'm going to check it for size to make sure that it's got the right spread between the two bolts that I put over there uh, then I'm going to come back and I'm going to put the new ends on it and solder it then I'm going to take the other end and try to get those alligator clips adapted and get them screwed on or soldered on and then uh, and then uh, should be pretty well set so I'm going to stop it here and speed it up some more okay so I stopped it and I speeded it up a little bit more so get an idea what I'm doing here and not take up too much of the time And again, tomorrow when I got the camera running right, I will uh, give you a, a little two or three minute re recap on everything that I'm doing here. What am I thinking about now? Oh, I know. I need some connectors and a drill bit. So let's get the drill and let's see if I can drill out what I need. Now those connectors okay I'm trying to run a little faster but those two yellow buck connectors I just put down there they have a heat shrink shield on them and an adhesive so once I get the wires in and I heat them up I crimp them then I heat them they'll shrink tight around the wire and then uh, the uh, adhesive will help glue the wire so that it will work as a strain relief somewhat as well. So what I need to do is tin these two sets of wires and I'm going to cut them at different lengths so that they don't sit side by side when they're done. So one will be shorter, the other will be longer and on the opposite side they will be the opposite. One will be shorter, one will be longer. And then uh, once I put them together, the two connectors will not be sitting side by side. So if they were to fall off, the wires are not going to short out. And then I also do that with the end when I put the alligator clip on. I shorten one of the sides of the wire, the black or the red, by about two inches or three inches. This your way if the two connectors kind of get close to one another. One will be longer so that they can't touch and short out. So that's what I'm doing here. Just getting the measurements down. Kind of give me an idea of where we're going to be. And I'm running right now about 2500 on the speed. It's a little faster than what I would think normal would be, but I don't want to 
keep you guys going. I just, you know, I start these things, I don't really think about the time, I just do it, that's all there is to it. I just put some flux on the wire that helps you with the soldering, and helps for the solder to flow a little better. So, uh, so I just want to make sure everything is scope aesthetic, and uh, I'm going to crimp that on, and then I'll solder it. Now these two ends are going on to the other side of the studs that I put up earlier. Uh, you should get that done, a little flux. I'm using flux for solder, which they say you really don't need the flux, but you know what, it makes it a lot easier, that's all there is to it. Okay. So now I'm going to heat it up a little extra, only because I didn't tin these two wires, so i got to make sure I get the solder down into the wire. That's about it. So meanwhile, it is 12.46 at night a.m. And I'm watching that movie Downsize, or Downsizing. And uh, sitting here, smelling solder, and uh, burning my fingers. So I want to make sure I get the solder down inside. So I want to try to make sure I get it hot enough. I could have just tinned the wire first, but um, in this case, if they just let me do what I gotta do. Alright, I guess I can actually speed this up a little more, I guess. Let's see. Alright. And then I'm going to do, I think I got one more segment, I'm going to just box in with this, but I'll, I'll definitely make it faster, so we don't have to sit here and watch it uh, in its normal speed or mode or whatever you want to call it, which is slow at this point, so, so a 20 minute video would end up being an hour. And we don't want to do that to you, so we're going to get ready and shut it down here for a second and put the other segment in. Alright, now this may be a little too fast because I pumped it up and I really shortened it down. So, uh, let's see what happens. I cut like 10 minutes down to like two and a half minutes. Now what I'm doing is I'm tinning these wires before I put the buck connectors on them because I got to add to the wire. And then when I add it to the wire, I uh, actually didn't take into consideration the wire was already thick. So then by putting the solder on it, I made it a little bit thicker, so therefore I had to take it and sand some of the stuff down. So I, I go over to the, uh, the grinding wheel real quick, and I just grind it down a little bit, and cut it down a little bit. So. find out. Oops. Oops. Oh, almost, but no cigar. Time to clip it a little bit. Uh, it's gonna work, but it's too much work. Alright, 
Chitty Chitty Chitty. Now I'm gonna have to go. And uh, sand them down. We are right back. Alright, so now I can finish them off, wipe the crap off my hands, put them back on, crimp them down, and then uh, that's actually the end of it. Apparently, the card filled up because this is the last part. So tomorrow I'll do another part and I'll remember to keep the audio on and you'll see the finished product because you're not going to see it now. Alright, that's it guys.